Hey everybody, Texas Trucker here, Lance's Performance Shop along with StoutermoPars.com. It is Saturday night, it's a little after 9 p.m. It is 54 degrees outside, which is crazy. Uh, early October here, we had some overcast rain showers, rain most of the day actually. And we are going to be going back in time, looking at some stuff from spring. And uh, a lot of these items took a really, really long time to kind of trickle their way in. Uh, then here most recently, you know, we've had like a bunch of new Vera stuff come out, so it sort of takes precedent. We still have tons of videos stacked that I've already recorded, edited, and uploaded. But I just kind of have had this stuff accruing, and I don't really feel like, uh, you know, coming out working on the truck this late. So we're going to get some stuff done in the way of getting things cleaned up, put up, ready to use, all that sort of stuff. So, uh, KC Tool Hall, I believe we're going to call this one number 82. Anytime you place an order, you're going to get a bit of thanks. Currently, as of this recording, you are receiving a number two Phillips from VIT. Uh, if you exceed the $100 mark, you get the German Tool Sticker Pack. And anytime you place an order, you want to check around and look at the seasonal. Now, this goes back to spring of 22. Obviously, it is null and void. We're sitting in October right now, as I stated. But these are going to vary. You're going to basically have them quarterly, if you will. There's going to be four sets of three months essentially and if you pay attention right there free with the purchase was a little mini can of ballastal uh spoiler alert i have a ton of those and i <laughs> have zero regrets about acquiring them they're super handy they fit in your pocket if you want them to if you're just kind of walking around job site to job site i've done some ridiculous things with that uh, the more i use it the more i like it you'll also note right there uh, there are some pretty sweet deals here. Most of you probably intrigued by the uh, Vera Bit Ratchet. Uh, of course, pretty good price on the uh, little Cobras there. But another thing that was priced pretty well is this little thing right here. It's the Bila Level, right? So $21.40 is what that price was. And you think, hey, wait, you've got one of those. You know, I've seen you. I remember it in a tool hall a long time ago. I even bought one myself. Some of you probably did. Uh, others of you are like, wait, you've, I've seen that in like some of your automotive videos. You know, you use that thing all the time. That's correct. But at that price point, I could not say no. And especially when you consider it's a good price. You got to realize at KC Tool, there's a couple of things that are super, super rare to have a sale price. Uh, and one of those brands is Stabila. So picked one of those up. And what did that do? It also got me the free mini can of ballast. Like I said, I have basically have like a corner segment of an entire toolbox drawer filled with these things and i would not change anything about that so uh for 20 bucks i know some of you think like yeah that's kind of high and you got to realize like empire levels made in america i love those things you can get a magnetic you can get them not magnetic uh typically i buy like an eight inch and i usually get a two pack and then they're stupid reasonable uh, there's times I don't know that I've paid like more than $12 for the two pack. Uh, it could be more around the $20 mark now, but I mean, bottom line, you get a really nice level for not a lot of money. Of course, you can go big too. You can get like a 24, 48, whatever you need to do. But these are just stupid handy. The way this is set up, if you don't recall, it comes with a belt clip. These are also super easy to unpack. And uh, basically, we're not going to spend a ton of time because I've covered it before, but you'll see right there, it is magnetic on either side. That's kind of a big deal. And if you think like, I don't really like that side profile, keep in mind, this is the belt holster. Okay. You can come in and pop this sucker out. You've got a full length magnet across here and you've got a magnet on this side. So you're able to come in We can see how square I can keep things. And it's just really, really handy. As you might have guessed, when you're utilizing levels this small, it might be nice to have, say, something over on, you know, the start point and something over on the end point, right? That's what I thought. That's why I bought it. And it also scored us a free mini can of ballast, which typically those would cost like six bucks. You know, it's not like a huge savings, but it's pretty cool. And I'm not going to complain about it. Now, moving on, I'm just, like I said, this combines multiple orders. In fact, we're going to have two tools of the day on this. Those will come up later. But right now, I'm going to throw this down. It is from Philo. It is their T-handle. This one is half-inch drive. This is the big one. This is probably the least practical 
Uh, three eighths for me is the bread and butter quarter, super handy and useful. Uh, things like valve adjustment, old school things along those lines. We need a little finite. It's not necessarily torque or finesse. It's just you have the ability to feel it out. You know, sometimes when you have a giant ratchet or a small ratchet, you sort of get disconnected. You know, if you've got an extension on there, you can't quite feel it as well. And T handles, in my opinion, that's how you can really feel what you're doing. Uh, that either makes sense to you or it doesn't. If it makes sense to you, you probably use T-handles like me. If it doesn't make sense to you, you probably don't uh, use T-handles or have a desire to add them in. It's a great item to add. Um, my advice is start quarter or three-eighths. And if you're thinking like, wait, you've had this too. You know, this is lame. You know, I, I remember you made a big deal. You finally got the whole set, right? Because you had the quarter and three-eighths and you brought this in. Well, kudos to you because you have a fantastic memory, but the reason I lay that down there is if we come in, if you go through KC Tool, you'd be looking at uh, F62897, $10.70, which is a pretty good price in my opinion. I want to showcase something here, and I check all the time. Uh, by now, I honestly thought like I would have had the whole trio, but I think I'll probably have them well before this video releases. Which, ironically, will probably be winter or spring. <laughs> and, uh, even though it's October now, and a lot of this stuff like goes back to April and June and all in that time frame. But this is a big deal, because some of you are going to love this, and it's going to tie in very well with this little level. You're thinking, like, wait, they put a, a level in a T-handle? That's a great idea. Well, not quite, but they did change colors. This is the exact same item, it's just they updated their colors. Here recently, Vit has done that. Their drivers have like transcended over from gray, you know, to black and blue, which again, that works great for me. This is the exact same product, just an updated color scheme. So, case in point, we can bring it up to the top. If you can read them, uh, maybe we'll go one at a time here, would be the way to do it. So the black, you've got 397. You've got half by 125, that's going to be about 5 inches. And you've got half by 125. Note that they're made in Germany. This one said Philo made in Germany. The old one just said Philo Germany. So I guess kudos to them. That's probably something as they broaden out. They're like, hey, you know, if we're located in Germany. I wonder if people are confusing that with made in Germany. So... They've rectified that. You can see it's the same profile. It's got the same hanging hole, even on the same side. Flip it around. I know people hate this. It's the barcode. You got number four off by itself, 007157. We take a look at the black and yellow, and we have got 407157. Ending sequence of numbers there, 628976. And you guessed it, the ending sequence of numbers there is 62. Eight, nine, seven, eight. Uh, totally apologize. I misread this. It's just as blurry for me as it is you. But yeah, that is the exact same number. I don't know how long we'd have to sit here to get the camera to showcase both of them. Right there is probably about the best. We're going to do bigger numbers on the old one, smaller numbers on this one, but again, identical. For the money, I don't know that you can find a better T-handle. There's not a lot of people, especially like in a half-inch drive, that are going to make this thing. So, if you are, let's do it this way, a fan of black and yellow, which I know a lot of people love that color scheme, uh, particularly people in Pittsburgh are fans of the Penguins, the Pirates, <laughs> the Steelers, uh, that's going to be a big deal. A lot of people just love black and yellow anyway. Uh, so this might be a deal where if you were on the fence about these, you thought, no, if you're sitting there again, think about this, the most expensive half-inch drive being around the $10 mark, quarter or three eighths, going to be a little less than that most likely. So if you're sitting there and you've got an order for, say, 94 bucks, you got your free freight, but if you just bought one more item, you get the sticker pack, that might be a big deal to some of you. You can go that route. A bigger deal if you're sitting at, say, $68.00. Why would you go and pay $15 in freight when you could spend $7 to $10 on a tool that will get you free freight and you ultimately save money? I don't just tell you this, I'm still making nothing off of anything. Uh, so I literally practice what I preach, I tell you about it, I do the exact same thing. So, uh, moving on from there, we had a nice little setup. This item was tool of the day. 
<laughs> and, uh, I was very, very excited about it. And it's super cheap, too. This is another little item you can probably throw on. It is $3.97 on Tool of the Day. It's from Ghidorah. That's their part number. Again, everything linked down below. I use timestamps. Forgot to mention that. You should know so by now. But if you're thinking, like, whoa, what is this? You know, it looks like you got some washers that are a rebuild kit for a wrench or something. No, it's hollow right here. It's like a ring. You're thinking, like, what is this? Looks like tape. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. It is tape. And uh, the company, I think Ghidorah must just rebrand this stuff, but it's Coroplast. Probably butchering that, I don't know, but it's sort of just their version of electrical tape. Is it good? Is it junk? Is it better than what you're currently using? I have no idea. I've had this sitting there for a while. I have not used it. Uh, I was going to one time and I could not find it. Turns out I put it in another drawer uh, in the, you know, two open box. And it was underneath some Klein stuff, so I totally missed it. And then I found it and I was like, man, there that stuff was. So it's three, it's 10 millimeter. I guess, or 10 meters long. <laughs> and, uh, I don't do... I'm still old school, but it's not quite what I typically buy. Uh, right here, it's just some generic. I think this is cheap electric tape. At work, black tape. There's two variants, right? We're going to use Super 88 black, and we're going to use 130C splice tape. Then, in colors, we use Scotch 35, right? And Scotch 35, of course, you can get in other colors. Ironically, here at the house, I was super low on white, and I uh, had some stuff delivered from Walmart earlier, and I was pretty delighted because they had white Scotch 35. And what did I get? I got Scotch Super 33 black. Now, I was kind of miffed about that. Still am. I'm going to keep it, you know, because you can't really ever have too much electric tape. Black is my default color, but I thought, hey, you know, I just got this jungle, literally carried it out here. Why not compare it? Now, something I'm going to tell you about the side profile here. Just the other night, I was taping off some steering column wires I'd had to cut, and the three-quarter is, like, stupid wide. You know, it doesn't seem like it. You usually have to lap this stuff up, you know. But something like this, you know, it's kind of a deal where you almost wish you could cut it in half or have, you know, like two-thirds the width or something. Half inch would have been great in that case, maybe even slightly smaller than that. So this will kind of fill that role. I have no clue what to expect from it. I don't know if I'm going to wind up loving it, if I'm going to hate it. It could go any direction imaginable. But I felt like for the price it was worth, tr worth trying. I did talk to Colin about it, and I was saying, like, hey, you know, do they make anything else? Because if you have not bought electrical tape recently, what did it come to? I got a whole bunch in at work not long ago. I mean, the splice tape's always been crazy high. It depends if you go linerless or non-linerless. You can spin a little less and have a little more annoyance, or you can uh, spin more and not have to deal with a liner. It's the kind that you, like, have to stretch, you know, to activate the adhesive. Let's... It's not incredibly tacky. This kind of feels more like a Tessa tape, uh, if you're familiar with Tessa. It seems pretty thick, too. Um, I don't have wires here. If I wrap the wire, I couldn't really tell you anything aside from it wrapped the same. I assume it would. You almost have to use this. I don't know the specs on this. I don't know if this is like high temp or if it's interior or home use or what exactly. Uh, but I'm going to use it. I'm going to see how it does. I'm going to see if I like it. And the way Scotch is constantly increasing the price on their tape, if this is good, we may wind up exploring it. Maybe see if we can talk KC Tool and, like, stocking more of it or pushing it or something. Uh, I can tell you right now, in electrical tape, you can get some really good prices on it. And when you can, it's typically not worth buying. Uh, like, if you go to, the, like, the dollar store and you're like, Wow, ten rolls! This is great! Like... <laughs> That stuff, it doesn't have adhesive. If it does, it's excessively adhesive. Uh, if it gets up to temperature, it's going to come off. It's going to melt off. It's just bad. And then you're left paying. Like, Scotch makes really good tape, but it's, like, getting to the point where it's incredibly, stupidly expensive. So I'm excited to use this stuff. And like I said, it's just one of those deals. I'll have to use it and see what it does uh, to sort of form an opinion. But, uh, yeah, so... That was cool. Another tool of the day is right here. This one coming from NWS. The part number is going to be N188-11-280. Some of you might be thinking, hey, 
I think I, I think I know that 11 is like their length, isn't it? What, what plier is 11 inch? They don't have like some stupid oversized Cobra or anything, do they? Uh, well, they kind of do, but they have this. If you're thinking, hey, there's, well, what's that? Well, well, it looks like well, it's torn, you know, do they get lost in transit? No, it, it got here. And the issue is I needed it. And what it is, it was, I felt a decent price, you know, being familiar with their line of locking pliers. Which, on that front, I was going to do an immediate follow-up when we brought in a ton of German locking pliers. Maybe I'll link the video, but then Knipex came in and said, hey, check these out. And when people do that to me, I don't just come in and, like, flip a video and say, whoa, these are great. And, you know, what was I thinking? I actually use them. <laughs> I'm still using them. And that's why that video never surfaced, but I assumed I had a rough idea what I could expect on these, and that's it. So... Personally, with this style of a locking plier, I, you know, it's a little little bougie, but I like the swivel pad. I can get clamped on a regular surfaces that way. Oftentimes, this is fine. It's all you need, and it's what I was able to use when I was putting the hitch on the truck. So, transmission jack, the hitch is, like, super awkward. It's not that heavy, but when you're on your back on a creeper and you're trying to hold one side up and it's a good ways away... Uh, utilizing the transmission jack, that thing's going to fall. If you push it back, it's going to fall that way. If you try to center it again and then you pull the jack, it's going to go off the back. That's where this thing came in. That's why I used it. Uh, and got to say, it did the job beautifully for me. It actually matched the hitch as well. Not that that matters, but it was nice to see. And this sucker, if I haven't told you already, $31.99. That was the tool of the day price. Can you get cheaper pliers? Yes, I actually, truth be told, still uh, have some little, I don't remember if they're probably six inch from Harbor Freight, Pittsburgh brand, swivel pliers. And they're still functional, you know, it's one of those things. Do they feel as good? You know, it's like when you get something like this, you know, or like a higher end, you know, uh, old school vice grips at work. No, but it's, it's an option. As is this, the biggest selling point of these is right here. You'll see that over, you're like, whoa, what did they do there? Looks like they forgot the parting line on that thing. It just sticks out. Well, that's the release. It's effortless. It just comes in and you don't pinch your fingers. That's one of the reasons I like the German style locking pliers. It's kind of like that across the board. Some of you veteran viewers of the channel will remember one of the early items I brought in was some Gador locking pliers. Uh, of course, theirs are a little fancier. They get like a pad on there, so it's even more user friendly. But for the money on tool of the day, I thought, you know what, I'm just going to bring them in. This is one of those items you just never can have enough of. Now, sometimes, you know, if you're not into that sort of thing, you don't do like fabrication or you don't need to hold items down that you're cutting. It applies so evenly across the board, whether you're just making stuff like artsy craftsy, sell this at the local flea market. If you're automotive, fabrication, woodworker clamps you just you can't ever have enough and uh when good deals come along i try to cash in and that is exactly what we did with this little guy from nws so our last item kind of ties in we kind of kept some themes here black and yellow right progression change evolution well that's what we have here this is from vera it is their part number 05175 set me back 3874. I felt like it was on tool of the day too. I don't know that it was because I didn't jot it down. When this stuff came in and I started documenting the prices to save me time in the future, thanks former self, I started indicating TOD for tool of the day. I didn't write that down by it, so maybe it was just standard, but it is right here. And if you're thinking, like, what in the carnival colors is that? Yeah, that was my reaction, too. Now, Vera's been doing some real cool, innovative stuff here recently. That's why we've been checking it out. This was something sort of under the radar. You know, people are like, oh, they have insulated screwdrivers, right? They used to. What's, what's the deal? Well, some of you are going to love this, and some of you are going to hate it. Some of you will just find it comical or informative. I probably fall into that category. And uh, right here, this is going to be a six-piece set. Obviously, it's their insulated drivers. And the set contents in this one, we're going to have a number one and a number two Phillips, uh, 80 and 100 millimeter shafts, respectively. And then we've got a 2.5, a 3.5, a 4, and a 5.5 for our slotted sizes. I think slotted, nobody uses that. Oh, yeah. 
electrical stuff. So I have a lot of terminal screws that are slotted only, uh, including stuff I still buy at work and panels I deal with. It's still slotted, right? So uh, this was just a deal where I kind of, wow, <laughs> had to... Uh, I had to see this in person, and if you're thinking like, well, how does this tie in? You talked about color change and evolution and updated designs and stuff. What's the big deal? Well, some of you are like, God, it's like eye searing yellow with ketchup. What is going on? Like they have huge mustard fans or something? <laughs> I and some of you are thinking like, whoa, hey, I love very insulated drivers, and I don't know what he's pulling, but this is not there. This must be some Amazon knockoff, right? No, this is legit. It was bought from KC Tool, and the catch is, while you're thrown for a loop, and you may not quite be able to place it, as I want you to look at this, I swear somewhere, somewhere in this mess of screwdrivers that I own, we have one of these. The only insulated Vera I was able to find was my stainless one. <laughs> And uh, that said, though, right here, you're thinking like, okay, well, what's the deal? What's the difference? You know, and it's like, I'm going to gonna do you a favor. I'm going to flip this back. You're like, okay, yeah, they're insulated, red and yellow. We get it. You know, that's what they always are. Any, anyone catching on here? We'll see what's going down. Just like Philo and Vit recently. Well, what if I do this? And uh, we'll come in and we'll grab this guy right here. And I'm just gonna, this is your last chance to figure it out on your own, because after this you're gonna slap yourself in the face and say, how did I not notice that? You, you see it now? It's an inversion of colors. That's all it is, that's all it was. Um, personally, the red and yellow, neither gonna be my favorite color. Um, not sure I didn't like the old ones better. You know, I say that and I look at these now and they're really not that bad. <laughs> It's just, it takes some getting used to, that's for sure. Now, some of you are going to actually prefer, I mean, this stuff's like 50-50. You know, you might look at these and be like, God, that's hideous. And then the next guy and the, you know, four after, you might be like, that's the best looking insulated driver I've ever seen. So it's all subjective. But uh, they used to have sort of like red as the hard plastic and then yellow for this like softer textured area. And they've just inverted it now. So better or worse is entirely up to you. If... Like I said, like there might be some people that just, man, that is such a light driver. <laughs> like, I'm used to Kleins where like you get insulated and it's like that thick old, I guess maybe they're old too, but uh, yeah, this sucker right here, man, it is, it's the real deal. This is their updated color scheme for insulated drivers. Uh, it's typically what happens to me sometimes, especially with like the VIT stuff. I want to bring in a driver and maybe it's like six to twelve dollars, we'll say. And then the set is like thirty. And you sit there and you're like, man, you know, that's like a way better deal. <laughs> if I buy the set, that same driver would be like five bucks. And that's kind of what happened to me here. So I'm going to come in and get the one that matters the most, which is, of course, the number two Phillips. <laughs> and, uh, let's, okay, I'm sort of disappointed. This does not have the laser etching. My stainless one does. I think the one that I have, just like this in the old color scheme that I can't find, didn't have it either. But this is absurdly light, too. I'm telling you. I mean, this is... Maybe I'm just used to their chisel drivers. Maybe that's what's throwing me off. But uh, selling points here. Let's talk about it. Well, you can see that it's a number two Phillips very easily, which is cool. Keep in mind, a lot of electricians are going to be in like a bucket or a big bag type of a thing. So it's top-down approach. Uh, if you store them vertically, that's great. If you put them on their side, it's real no, no benefit at all. You'll want to orient it this way or just pay attention to the tip. But what I want to know from you, and I do wish that I had the stupid one I could find, do you like this updated color scheme, yellow with red inserts, or did you prefer red with yellow inserts? Might even make a poll on that. I'll try to find what I need and take a picture for you. But uh, if you need an insulated driver, you need an insulated driver, and that's sort of where you'd have to take it. the coolest thing here. If you can see it, Lord, I don't know that you'll be able to. You'll, you may have to take my word for it, but in that box, it says 22. It's just, it's a glaring, glaring... <laughs> I can see it sometimes. Let's, uh... I'm trying to think what the best course of action here would be. And I really don't know. It's just, it's so bright and vivid. <laughs> you know? 
you totally can't see that well, but trust me, that's where they stamp their year of manufacturing. It's a 22, which is this year. Their items that we brought in just recently that were just announced and we just bought the chisel driver, uh, impact driver, I should say. It looks like the chisel drivers and the little uh, Zyklops pocket. Those are all stamped 21, which means they kind of kept it under the radar. These, they're literally fresh off the presses at 22. If you were unaware, when you buy sets from Barry, you're gonna wind up getting the stickers down there. Uh, there's also gonna be typically a little leaflet flyer. I don't think we have one here, but uh, I don't exactly know what I'm gonna do with these. Uh, I'm pretty invested in the VI insulated line. In fact, I even have a five-piece set and a number one posi. It's a long story I've covered before, but I need it at work for terminal blocks. Um, yeah, still kind of salty about having to get a number one posi of all things, but uh, it's sort of what I have. I already have that there, so I don't know that I need this at work. I've got, I'm staring right over here at a set of Vihas. We'll just come in. The easiest one for me to get to is this guy. This is sort of more like Vera's old color scheme, like red with yellow accents. This is like yellow with red accents. So while this isn't Vera, it's a good good comparison in my opinion. Um, I'm kind of wondering about... Obviously these are kept on the workbench, right? I don't know if I will put these... I'm building like an electrical box. I can either put them there or I could put them in the uh, US General Master Tech. I'm not sure, but they'll probably go in one of those two places unless I decide to take them to work or something like that. So, yeah. Main thing I want to know from you in the comments is what do you think, what do you prefer, this brand new iteration or the previous style? Same thing here. Do you like the red classic Philo T handle or are you digging the black and yellow? Any of you cash in on this crazy deal or anything you bought, including the Stabila level, you get the free ballastal. Uh, let me know. Same thing. I know some of you across the pond. I really have not bothered to study, uh, like, hey, what's Scotch's reign of supremacy? Uh, I don't know if this is, like, going to be a German thing, or it's the Coroplast. I don't know why I want to always say Certoplast, but it's Coroplast. I don't know if this is a deal where, like, all of Europe uses this and you don't even touch with Scotch, or if Scotch is, like... UK all the way over and then people in France, you know, it's like 50. I have no idea if you are across the pond Let me know same thing here in America I would assume that like 90 95 percent of you are either a using scotch or B using like super 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 bad cheap stuff <laughs> Probably not much variance from one of those two But if for some reason like you you're super into tape you're like I got to try everything if you've used this, how do you like it? How does it compare? Uh, where would this rate, like, would this be safe to use in an engine bay, you know, or like a high heat area? Or is it just like interior use or, you know, home type stuff? Uh, feel free to educate people because, again, I just thought it was interesting. 397 tool of the day. We're going to take a flyer on it. So, right now, that's all I can tell you. Uh, I'm not going to... At the time, I did research a little bit better, but I'm not going to lie. That was like six months ago, so... You know, a lot of that knowledge has been filed away in the archives, which I'm not going to tap into right now. Meaning I might have forgotten, but, uh, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> and then, uh, I think that covers this one, though. So, And we're going to get it done before it times out. So LoneStarMopars.com is the website. You can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, all three at Lone Star Mopars. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this stuff, particularly the color contrast, updates, and comparisons. Uh, First-hand experience, always appreciated. Let me know if any of you also built up a huge surplus of the mini ballastal cans. Again, and the more I use that stuff, the more I like it. As I stand here in Lake Ballastal, which has still never come out of my concrete. <laughs> so, with that said, I hope you have yourself a fantastic weekend. And I hope I will catch you back here Saturday for more action from the shop. <laughs>